What do you do with all that leftover turkey? Well, this is an easy and comforting turkey and biscuits meal. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've included links to where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. I'm starting this meal on the stove, and it will finish cooking in the oven, so I'm using my cast iron pan. On medium heat, I'm melting some butter and adding in some chopped onions, letting them cook for about 3 to 5 minutes until the onions sweat down, and then adding in some salt, black pepper, and poultry seasoning. Cooking and stirring for about 30 seconds, and then adding in some flour. I'm making a roux, and this will help thicken the sauce. Just cooking and stirring for a minute. Adding in some of my homemade turkey broth, and you can check out my turkey gravy video recipe to see how I made the broth. I will leave a link here and in the show more section below. Increasing my heat slightly to a medium high to bring to a boil. Cooking and stirring and you will start to see the sauce thicken. Now I'm adding in some milk. Cooking and stirring until it comes to a simmer. Adding in some chopped parsley chives, and a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I also have some cooked vegetables left over from our turkey dinner, so that is going into the pot. If you happen to have some leftover gravy, that would be good in here as well. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm turning off my stove heat. I'm adding in some sour cream and the shredded turkey giving that a good stir to get all mixed together. I'm using one can of Pillsbury Homestyle Biscuits. You can use the brand of your choice. Just placing the biscuits on top of my turkey mixture and basting with a little melted butter. This is going in the oven uncovered for 18 to 22 minutes or until the biscuits are golden brown. The turkey mixture is already cooked, so we are just baking the biscuits until done. It's been 20 minutes and it's time to eat. This is an easy and great meal to use those holiday leftovers. You can use leftover meat, vegetables, and gravy. You can have this delicious turkey and biscuits ready in about 45 minutes and it's definitely budget friendly. I hope you give this turkey and biscuits a try and enjoy. This gobblerito was a creation of a Pittsburgh restaurant called Mad Mex. The gobblerito is all the wonderful Thanksgiving feast foods smashed into a burrito, and the bigger the better. It is a wonderful fusion of food and cultures. I just made a big turkey meal. I have all these leftovers, and I thought I would show you my copycat version of the big and delicious gobblerito. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe and the list of ingredients in the show more section below. This gobblerito is pretty simple. I have a large flour tortilla that I'm lightly toasting in my cast iron pan. I heated all my leftover ingredients and I'm ready to assemble this beast. Laying down a good layer of shredded turkey, some stuffing, and you can't forget the mashed potatoes. And here's a little of the Mexican flair, adding some rinsed, drained, and cooked black beans. Adding a drizzle of turkey gravy and a good portion of corn. Now the fun part, folding and rolling the burrito. Just take your time and do the best you can as this gobblerito is stuffed full. And we're not done. Pouring more of that flavorful turkey gravy on the top. And served with a side of cranberry sauce. And that is my copycat gobblerito. Very simple and a great way to use all those holiday leftovers. The gobblerito is full of flavor and texture. Give it a try. If you have a chance, please take a look at my Thanksgiving series video recipes. I'll leave some links in the show more section below. And thanks for joining me.
I roasted a turkey earlier in the week, and we had our main meal, and now I have lots of leftover turkey. Lucky me. Tonight I am making some turkey enchiladas with a creamy white cheesy sauce. In a large bowl I have about three cups of shredded leftover turkey, and I'm using both white and dark meat. Adding in some cheese, and I'm using a combo of Monterey Jack and mozzarella. You can use what you like. Adding in one small can of chopped green chilies. I found this at Audi's. It is a Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch Dip Mix. I am adding this to the turkey mixture and also to the white sauce for some Mexican Fiesta flavor. If you can't find this Fiesta Ranch, you can just add your favorite taco seasoning or just season to your liking. For a little moisture to bring this all together, I'm adding in a little green enchilada sauce. I'm not adding any salt as I know the cheese and the Fiesta Ranch have plenty. Just remember to taste and season as you like. Give everything a good mix to combine. For the white sauce, I'm starting by making a roux with some butter and flour. Cooking and stirring on medium heat for a couple minutes, and then I'm adding in some liquids. I'm adding in some turkey broth and turning my heat up to a medium high to bring this up to a simmer. Also adding in some milk, and you can make it creamier by using heavy cream or half and half. Seasoning with the Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch and mixing in. I also decided to add in some garlic powder. The sauce has been simmering a couple minutes and it's thickened and it is tasting great. I'm turning off my heat and adding in some grated cheese, stirring until melted. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm spooning and spreading out a couple scoops of the white sauce onto the bottom of my baking dish. This is just so the enchiladas don't stick. I am using flour tortillas tonight. I prefer to use smaller ones, but this is the only size the store had. First, I'm brushing both sides with the green enchilada sauce. This is just to get the tortilla pliable to roll. Placing a nice hefty portion of my turkey mixture in the middle, giving everything a roll, and placing seam down in my baking dish. If I have any extra turkey mixture, I usually just sprinkle it right over the top. Tonight, I didn't have any leftovers. Next, I'm pouring the delicious creamy Fiesta white sauce all over the top. I could have backed off a little on the white sauce, but you can add as much as you like. Topping everything with the remainder of my grated cheese. This is going into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until everything is bubbly hot. I like to stick the enchiladas under a low heat broiler for a minute to give the top a nice golden brown. Keep the oven door open a little bit and watch the enchiladas the entire time while broiling. You don't want them to burn. The turkey enchiladas are done and smelling wonderful. Letting these cool for a good 15 minutes before serving. Meanwhile, I'm adding more flavor and decoration to the top with some chopped green onions and tomatoes. These leftover turkey enchiladas are so rich and good. I can taste the Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch flavors and cumin really stands out. The creamy cheesy white sauce really melts everything together. I hope you give these leftover turkey enchiladas a try and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steemit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!